And what you need to do is you actually need to take the, the mesh as well as the original rig, select those two, and then select the new rig last. And we're gonna hit Control P, and we're gonna parent with automatic weights. All right, so we have the um, famous bone heat weighting issue. It's so funny, I did this uh, earlier today, <laughs> exact same model, exact same process, and didn't get that issue. Um, so something in the model is not happy, and I'll try to show you um, how we can kind of fix that in real time. So the first thing I'm just gonna undo until that rig is gone. And what you'll notice is that before we even make that, uh, generate that rig, uh, you can test it out first just on the meta rig. If you can't bind to the meta rig or you can't parent to the meta rig, it's not gonna work. So I think likely what's happening here is that the hair is causing uh, issues. Either that or we have some overlapping vertices. So we'll try to do mesh, clean up, merge by distance. We did remove 17. Um, sometimes I'm a little nervous that like if the threshold's too small, some of these interior vertices are gonna get lost, um, but maybe that's okay. So we'll try that first, and then we'll try to parent. And then we're still getting an issue. So my gut feeling in this case is that it's the hair. Um, the hair is gonna be the biggest, the most problematic surface for sure. Um, so in this case, I would hide the meta rig. Let's go into x-ray mode. So I'm using a lot of keyboard shortcuts here, so I apologize for that. But Alt-Z brings us into x-ray. Um, if you select everything and then press Control-L, we can hide almost everything. Uh, and then we're just <laughs> left with these kind of creepy eyes and, and mouth. Uh, so I'm going to click on these, hit Control-L, hide. Um, click these two, Control-L, hide, and one more. I might have, yeah, so that's the tongue and the bottom teeth. Kind of need to be careful that you're not selecting something you don't want to hide. Control L and then hide. All right, so we're left with the hair. And what we need to do here, honestly, is we need to do all this and then separate by selection. So it's a bit of a pain. Um, I'll show you how to bring this back in in a sec. But if we hide that, this should not have issues. Uh, hopefully I'm not missing something else but let's go ahead and try to um, parent it now. So we do, there we go. So it will parent with automatic weights once you remove the hair. So we'll go back to our rig, um, turn X-ray off and we'll generate the rig. And then we'll do that same thing. We select the, the model, the original rig, and then finally we select the new rig last and then control P, automatic weights. All right. So at this point, we should be able to switch to pose mode and then move this stuff around. And this should look okay. If you did the neck bones wrong, the head is gonna look super weird. Um, it already looks weird as it is, but what you'll find is that like, there's a lot of deformation of the lower mouth area. Um, and even in this case, I'm not, I should, could have done this a little better, but what I would really suggest is play around with these rigs and even if you have to use power save and go back and forth, it's really worth the exercise. Like this neck bone is too far forward. I'm seeing that now because just the deformation along the back looks really unnatural. Um, but we'll go with it for now. All right. So getting this back into the model, the way you do that is we're going to switch back to object mode, click the hair and then the body second, I think. Yeah, so hair first, body second, press control J, and you get it back. But of course, what's gonna happen now is, um, if we can get into pose mode, the hair doesn't <laughs> the hair doesn't have any weights painted, right? So it just moves, uh, moves. you know, it's, it's not moving with the head. So how do you fix it? It's pretty easy. Um, we're gonna do, click the control rig armature first, not the, bit, not the meta rig, the control rig. Then shift click the mesh and we're gonna go into weight paint. Now, what you need to do is you need to search for um, the vertex group. So before I go ahead, I'm actually gonna press Alt-H. That's gonna bring the whole model back in. And rather than clicking around the bones, because that can be definitely finicky, uh, if you try to hit Control-Click, you can click on the bones and try to change the weights. But what we need to do is we need to find the bone that's responsible for the head. Um, so you know, you would just click through these. In my case, I know it's spine six. And what you see here, right, is um, the head has weights, but the hair has nothing. So we can go back here. We're just gonna hide all that again. 
right? So apologies, I'm going a little fast here, but if you tab and then hide the on other vertices, we can just paint the, the head. So increase that brush size with F and then we're going to do a linear fall off. It's just going to make it uh, actually we'll do, we'll do constant fall off. That'll make painting this a lot easier, a lot faster and less error prone. Cause you're not going to have uh, partially painted uh, edges or surfaces. So that's going to paint the whole head with hundred percent weight. Um, you can get complicated with this if you want, right? Um, maybe we can, I don't know, maybe we can do a lighter paint on the bottom, right? As we get near the bottom here, uh, actually what I wanted to do there was change the weight. So you could do something like this. Um, it's, you know, <laughs> there's always pros and cons to weight painting. It is kind of painful. Uh, but maybe we'll go with that is a little, little bit better. Not really though, because if you look at where it is on the ear, that's not really matching then. And the ultimate test is always going to be, um, actually moving, moving the bone, right? So if we go to pose mode and then we're going to maybe rotate this, uh, this way and this way, it's not horrible. It's pretty good actually. So we'll, uh, we'll stick with that.